Hi, this is John. I'm going to demonstrate uh, in defense of Excel geeks everywhere that it is possible to do a histogram chart in Excel. It may not be as easy and automatic as in Minitab, uh, but it can be done. So uh, here it goes. Um, first thing that you need to know is I'm using Excel 2010, so your mileage may vary if you're using Excel 2007 uh, it, or, or earlier. Uh, <clears throat> one way you can tell this is 2007 or 2010 rather than 2007 uh, is it doesn't have the big Microsoft Office button up here that just took up a lot of space. Um, one thing that you will need to do is access data analysis. You do that by going to the data tab and then the analysis pane and hopefully you'll see data analysis. If you don't see data analysis that means you need to activate the add-in and in order to do that if you're in Excel 2010 you click on the file menu if you're in 2007, you would click on the big uh, office button up here and then look for options. And then under options, add-ins. And uh, under add-ins, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Uh, under add-ins, you can see what active application add-ins you have and what inactive ones you have. So if you need to activate one, you would press go over here and then follow the prompts. We don't need to do that. We're going to hit cancel here since it's already active for us. So let's go ahead and do the analysis. Click on data analysis. Make sure we've got histogram selected and then OK. Our input range, we're going to include the labels here. Right now I clicked on A1. I'm holding down the shift key and if you watch down here I will hit the end button. So I'm in end mode. I hit the down arrow and I've just selected all of that uh, data very quickly. Now I'll go up to the bin range. I did that little flip very quickly uh, with my Apple Magic Mouse. If you don't have one of those, uh, you should uh, buy a Mac just so you can have a Magic Mouse. Um, I click on the uh, labels uh, tab here and then uh, click on output range and we'll just select this out here. We'll hit OK, and now we have the data necessary for our histogram. Uh, I'm going to edit the uh, uh, the bins a little bit, and uh, I'm going to do this by saying um, this is actually uh, 1 to 60. Uh, this is 61 to 120. You get the idea here. 121 to what was that 180 181 to forgot what it was 181 to 240 and if you'll notice I'm putting a uh, um, apostrophe in front of this so that it's sure that I want to create a text element here rather than an equation I can't do two things at once here 241 to 300 and then we've got 301 to 360. Now I can create my chart. I highlight my data, click on insert. We're going to do a, a oops, where'd that go? Uh, we're going to do a column chart, just a regular 2D column. And this is pretty close. Not quite what we want because we've got these gaps in between. But in order to get rid of the gaps, we can for, I clicked on one of the bars. We can go, go to Format Data Series and then see this uh, series overlap. So Series Options and Gap Width and we can get rid of the gaps. So presto, there you have it. A quick and easy histogram. Hope that helps.